there's a double celebration in store for Sting. The singer turns 60 and he's marking 25 years as a solo artist. For the moment, he says he has no plans to release a new studio album, but he will continue writing and playing. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, I couldn't live without music. I'd either play music or, or die. I mean, no, there's no way. I, no, hopefully, the next 25 years will be the same if I have them. But no, there's no, there's no choice there. I have to play music every day. After his ambitious tour with the Royal Philharmonic Concert Orchestra last year, Sting is back on the road this autumn. In his back-to-base North American tour, he'll play stripped-down versions of his hits in more intimate venues backed by a five-piece band. But you can hear it in my accent when I talk. I'm an Englishman in New York. Um, well, I, I'm going back to basics. Bass, I'm going to play the bass with a small band because I, I just did this 200 date tour with a symphony orchestra. So I wanted to just throw a curve at that and do something, you know, like I used to. Since the release of his first solo album, The Dream of the Blue Turtles, in 1985, Sting has varied his musical style, incorporating elements of jazz, reggae, classical, new age, and world beat into his music. I, I think I have so much to learn as a musician, you know, but I've, I've always known that. But you just when, when you work with people at a high level, you realize you have a long way to go, and that's, that's the great thing about music, you know, it doesn't end. There's no way you can say, oh, now I've, I've finished learning. You do that when you die. <laughs> See the west wind move like a lover so upon the fields of Bali. Sting's US tour kicks off in Boston later in October with dates in other cities scheduled through early December. Among the fields of gold. I never made promises like 